What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It's I, your wheelman, Alex Cornut, and we're back in the RSR. If you played Need for Speed Heat, you probably know what the RSR is. It's the Porsche that is the cream of the crop, the best car in the game. And it was a slayer in Need for Speed Heat. There was no better ride out there. They released DLC from the McLaren later that was on par, but this car was the bee's knees for a long time. And we made it good <laughs> in Unbound. And when I say we, I mean the boys. We've got five or six people were driving this last night. We were all running different engines. We were all running different builds. We're all trying to find that perfect build. And we settled on two. We, we can't decide which one we want, which one's better. And so I'm going to bring you both of them. I'm going to bring you this one today. I'm going to bring you the other build tomorrow. So that way you can give a try on both of them. Let me know what you think. You need to drive both of them. That's the biggest thing is because they are both very different in their own right, but very viable. Like I prefer this one for certain tracks and I prefer the other one for other tracks. And so it really is a toss up. Like if I took every race in the game, split them right down the middle, both RSRs go on either side of that. Like. It, they're both good in their own way, and it's really hard to say which one's better because each track's going to have a stronger one, but you can't just use one for all of them. So it's like, it's kind of exciting. Like, we're in a, into a space to where the RSR is a spicy ball, a spicy boy. So let's just dig right into it. This is the Porsche 911 Carrera RSR 2.8 1973. A lot of hype on this car. I love this car, and... My boy Dustin underscore TV, he grinded this out first. You got to get like 30 wins in a Porsche in A plus class to get this thing unlocked. Or, fun fact, play through single player. You get this in the single player campaign, that's a lot faster to be honest. But if you're like myself, you grind out multiplayer because we don't play single player. So whatever. Side note, any build that I put on this channel will work in single player and you will slay the co computer all day long. Like comp stomp away with my builds they work great so that being said my boy Dustin took this car out he's been trying to make it viable and it was good and then we changed some stuff and it was good and we're like oh my god okay so we put all hands on deck we brought the whole crew in we started working on it and this car is really good so let's just dig right in today for my build on this one because we've got a couple builds we're using the 2.6 liter i6. It is the Sport 276 brake horsepower stock motor. Um, there's a lot of different motors for this, so just be really clear, we're using the 2.6 i6 in the Sport class. From there, you're gonna go to parts. You're gonna put the Elite induction on there. You're gonna do just basic uh, ECU. You're gonna do basic fuel system. You are gonna do Sport exhaust. You are doing the Elite roots supercharger we love the elite parts just regular sport nos for the suspension we are running elite road suspension we are running regular super brakes we are running elite tires as we always do on this channel with all of the builds that i love so hard so much so it's elite grip tires for the clutch basic clutch for the transmission, we are running the five speed, the sport five speed. There's a lot of different transmissions to choose from. The four speed, I tried on my other build. You, you just, you can add as much power to it. The top speed just never gets where you need it. You gotta run the five speed um, in this on this build for sure. 176 is nice for A plus class. You're gonna, you're gonna overtake some people. That being said, run that elite differential because you this card never gets to 100 percent grip so you need the elite diff so that way you can get the slider as far over as possible as always the auxiliaries are up to you i run nitrous grip and nitrous drift on this car because this car both slides and it grips and in some corners you will literally drift in and then grip out and you're getting both you're you're double whammy right there so for this car get spicy with it run both grip and drift and then every corner you're getting something and it's a lot of fun. So all of that being said, get down. When you build the car, um, you're gonna end up with the handling. You're gonna run that slider all the way over to 80% grip, as far to the left as it'll go. 
steering sensitivity, two clicks to the right. That's where I like it. A lot of people run different things. You do you. Downforce, all the way high on the downforce. You can run this slider pretty much anywhere just to the right of center, but I think this car needs the downforce. Um, that's how I run it. Some of the guys were running a little less because they wanted to slide a little more, but um, for me, I was thinking high downforce was the best. Try it. Play with that slider just a little bit. See what you think. It's all personal preference and driving style. Uh, there's no one formula that's going to fit everybody, so I want to encourage everyone to experiment and do what's good. My dog is over here just wanting to be on cam with us today. No, get down, get down. So that all being said, once you've got your tune done, you're going to be running 176 top speed. Your zero to 60 is gonna be 3.8. Horsepower is 410, max torque 426, quarter mile 11.5. This thing slaps. It's really stable. It's really good in A class, or A plus class, excuse me. I think it's great. It, it's very, very predictable. It's a lot of fun to drive. This is a car that requires a higher skill level of driving ability to make viable. Um, not just everybody's gonna be able to throw this car together and be fast in it. it. It does require a little bit of doing. So if you do struggle with it out of the gate, practice a little more with it, try to find out what it needs. Uh, come and hang out on stream, race with us, see how we're driving it. Uh, watch us drive it, see if that helps you out a little bit. And I say us, I mean, I've got myself and then Dustin underscore TV. I'm going to link him down in the comments. He's my boy. We stream together every day. Uh, a lot of other guys have been helping out with this. Uh, one guy is named Sloth. We got another guy, Cube. Uh, they've got their own builds. Tomorrow, I'm going to be using uh, Cube's build, which is the other motor. And that's the other RSR that we think is really good. This one, you can actually take, change a few of the parts around, add a better clutch, add more nitrous. It shifts better and it has more bottles. So... It just depends. Like this car has actually got a couple of different builds, but we wanted to bring it to you guys before some of the other big content creators that like to take other people's builds and then post them decide to jump on the bandwagon. So the meta is here. You heard it here first. The RSR is awesome and it's a lot of fun to drive. So when these other guys that maybe think they're in a militia or maybe they think they're magic go and start posting stuff, it was here, you guys. We're pioneering it. We are the meta. We're having fun. Come and join me on stream. I'm Alex underscore Cornnut. I'm Alex Cornnut. My buddy is Dustin underscore TV. Two of us are always together. Uh, we've got our discords usually open. We're always chatting with everybody. We like to hang out. It's a lot of fun. Come kick it. You have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.